Hi everyone. I am going to do a video today about the importance of cleansing ritual. Um, in my opinion, the first thing that you should learn is how to cleanse yourself because if you will not be able to get anything done if you do not cleanse yourself and have positive vibrations. It is very important. I'm telling you from experience. I've only been practicing doing practicing with spell work for about six months. Oh, it's only been about four months. So about four months. Um but I can honestly tell you by experience that if you do not cleanse yourself and you have negative energies, you will not be able to do anything. I'm talking about manifesting. I'm talking about positive spell work. I'm doing anything for yourself. You won't be able to do it. I have done when I was ignoring the signs. I did do a few spells for other people and those worked for them, but Anything I did for me, it did not work until I cleansed myself. And so you have to cleanse yourself and you have to keep doing it. It's not something that you can just do one time because in helping people and doing things for yourself and being around different energies and different people every day, you will start to attract certain things to you that you don't want on you. You will not know this unless you begin to cleanse and that's why it's important to do it um case and point um i went over to my grandmother's house right before the halloween Samhain holiday and it was a really we had a really great time so i went back and the last time I went back, I, and I had my fiance and my kids come over to my grandma's house. And we had a situation that at the house. And it wasn't a good situation, and it put me in a bad spot. And so for Salwin, even though I was able to do my ancestor table, and I felt like I was my ancestors heard and they accepted and they appreciated what I had done. I still felt weird, like I was in a bad spot. And so all of last month it happened and I really, I started getting really in a deep, 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 deep depression. Not simply because of this situation, but because of other things that were coming into play as well. So one negative situation opened the way for all these other situations to come because I was in such a bad spot. Well, me not trying to dwell on it, I just kept trying to do things. Okay, I'm going to make a bath um, with a few herbs and some salts and do that. Oh, I'm going to make a candle and clear out the negativity. And those things kind of worked, but they didn't. Um, I even did a fast for... Um, for, for a week where I did um, from sun up to sundown I did not eat um, I had my candles going trying to just purge myself of this negative energy I didn't watch TV I didn't get on the internet I didn't get on Facebook I didn't I mean I got on the internet because I was in school but I didn't do anything else um, other than school work I um like I said, I had my candle going. I I dressed my candle just so with some herbs and things that I knew that would repel negativity. Um, I surrounded myself with positive things. I tried to think positive, and it, I mean, I saw a difference. It helped with my with my everyday life and every. I mean, it it really helped. But then another situation with the same family thing happened again and it put me in a really negative spot and then other things started to come through again and I needed to figure out a way how to get this bad stuff off me because it was just to the point where like every morning something different was happening and I just couldn't take it anymore so 
I got some advice to do a spell breaker um, bath, and that's what I did. I took the, I lit the candle on Saturday, and it burned from Saturday to Monday. For three days, it burned, and then I took the the bath this morning, and I relit the candle. So I didn't. Light a candle yesterday because I had a lot going on. Um, but I did take care of that this morning. So I lit the candle this morning and it's going very well. It's burning at a steady pace, which is the way I like it. Not saying I don't like fast burning candles, but when I'm doing my spell work, I kind of like to see a steady pace. I know that those candles burn for at least four days. That's what I want. I don't want it to burn for two days. I don't want it to burn a whole day and because you you have to exert energy and when you do it, when you exert energy for a certain spell, when you put your energies in this in the candle for the spell, it drains you. You should feel drained. That's how you know that you have given your all for it. But if I have to keep putting work into it, not to say that I wouldn't, and I'm not being lazy, but putting, having to do this every single day, every day for the same thing, it would be, I would be a zombie by the time I finish in four days if I had to do it every single day. So just putting enough energies for four days, and, and seeing it burn for at least four days is good for me. Um, so yeah, you want to get um, cleansed. And, and that's the first thing. It's not learning protection spells. It's not learning to try to counteract anyone's spell. It's to cleanse you of the, all the bad crap that you've accumulated over the weeks, months, years, days, hours, etc. You want to get that off you. So, yeah. Um, that's all I want. Oh, my mom came up this week and she got me this here book. And I started reading it today. And I'm ready to dive in already. When I went. To, I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to the Aquarium Bookshop this week, past week, like Thursday, and I grabbed some stinging nettles. And I have nothing to use them for. But I did hear that you could use them in, for your hair, so I'm going to try to make a, a steep, a rinse for my hair, see how that works. But. Till next time, peace.